Good day everyone! We are going to report our topic on Combined Cycle Power Plant. So what is CCGT? A Combined Cycle Gas Turbine Power Plant frequently identified by CCGT shortcut is a power system which typically uses a gas turbine to drive an electrical generator and recovers waste heat from the turbine exhaust to generate steam. The steam from waste heat is run through a steam turbine to provide supplemental electricity. The overall efficiency of a combined cycle power system is typically in the range of 50 to 60 percent. A substantial improvement over the efficiency of a simple open cycle application of around 33 percent. A combined cycle power system is the traditional technology of choice for most large onshore power generation plants and is therefore well established. The technology have also been used on a few offshore installations for over 10 years. Most offshore installations are designed to generate power from open cycle gas turbines, which offer reduced capital cost, size, and weight per megawatt installed, but with compromised energy efficiency and fuel cost per unit output. Combined cycle system operation is suitable for stable load applications, but less suitable for offshore applications with variable or declining load profiles. A combined cycle power plant typically consists of four major components, namely gas turbine, heat recovery steam generator, steam turbine, and balance of plant, which also consists the condenser, condensate, and feed systems. What is a gas turbine? A gas turbine is a combustion engine at the heart of a power plant that can convert natural gas or other liquid fuels to mechanical energy. This energy then drives a generator that produces the electrical energy that moves along power lines to homes and businesses. In order to generate electricity, the gas turbine heats a mixture of air and fuel at a very high temperature, causing the turbine blades to spin. The spinning turbine drives a generator then converts the energy into electricity. A gas turbine has three major sections. First is the compressor. As air enters the compressor, the gas turbine's compressor compresses the air and delivers it to the combustor. The second section is the combustor. The compressed air is mixed with fuel and is burned at the combustor at extremely high temperatures, creating a hot gas. At the last section in the turbine, the hot air and fuel mixture moves through blades in turbine, causing them to spin quickly. The fast spinning turbine is connected to the rod in a generator that turns a large magnet surrounded by coils of copper wire. The fast revolving generator magnet creates a powerful magnetic field that lines up the electrons around the copper coils and causes them to move. The movements of these electrons through a wire is electricity. The diagram shows the flow of process of a gas turbine. Air enters on the inlet of the compressor. A compressed air then leaves the compressor and is passed through the combustor. At the combustor, the compressed air is mixed with fuel and is burned to create a hot gas. The gas moves through the blades in the turbine, causing it to spin. The spinning of the turbine drives the shaft connected to the generator. The generator then converts the mechanical energy into electricity. The hot gas leaves the exhaust of the turbine.
Quick Recovery Steam Generator. After the gas turbine, you can see another key component, which is the heat recovery steam generator. The HRSG captures exhaust heat from the gas turbine that would otherwise escape through the exhaust stop. It is responsible in creating steam from the gas turbine exhaust heat and delivers it to the steam turbine. So in the HRSG, the hot exhaust from the gas turbine flows past through rows and rows of tubes filled with water, causing the water to boil and convert to steam. Here is an actual picture of heat recovery steam generator. Next, what is a steam turbine? A steam turbine is a device that extracts thermal energy from pressurized steam and causes to do mechanical work on a rotating output shaft. In a combined cycle power plant, the waste heat from the gas turbine is routed to the nearby steam turbine to generate more power. The steam turbine sends energy to the generator drive shaft where it is converted into additional electricity. So, the steam turbine is powered completely by leftover heat from the gas turbine exhaust, which make this combined cycle highly energy efficient using less fuel for more power. Here is a picture of an actual steam turbine. Here is a picture of a simple steam turbine schematic diagram. Fuel is burned in the boiler to create steam. By using the steam, work is generated through the expansion vapor which is then converted into electricity through generator. After the turbine, in order to condense the steam, a heat ejection must occur through condenser. Then pump. Pump main purpose is to convey and introduce back the condensed steam to the boiler. Balance of plant. Balance of plant is composed of the condenser, condensate, and feed systems. The purpose of the condenser is to receive steam that has been exhausted from the steam turbine and condense it back to water. This is performed by running cooling water through tubes in the condenser which absorbs heat from the exhausted steam in order to turn it back to water. This water is then pumped from the condenser to either a aerator or the low pressure steam drum by the condensate pumps. The feed pumps take su suction from the aerator of low pressure steam drum to provide water for the high pressure and intermediate pressure steam drums. Here is a schematic diagram of a combined cycle. The video will be presented to further explain the processes of a combined cycle power plant. The Siemens Flex Plant is a combined cycle facility. That means that it uses two steps of energy production combining two different energy producing cycles. In the first step, electricity is produced using a gas turbine. It operates much like an aircraft's jet engine. However, the gas turbine in this configuration supplies power from its spinning shaft directly to an attached generator to make electricity. Air is compressed in the gas turbine through multiple precision fan blades. This compressed air is mixed with natural gas, then ignited into a stream of high-energy, high-pressure air. The power of the pressure and extreme heat passes through a set of turbine fan blades, which spin the turbine shaft at 3600 RPM for 60 Hz markets or 3000 RPM for 50 Hz markets. The spinning shaft of the gas turbine is attached to an electrical generator, which converts this energy into enough electricity to provide a small city with all of its electricity needs. As the exhaust exits the gas turbine, it still has plenty of energy to utilize. This energy is used to power the second step of the flex plant combined cycle process. The excess heat of the gas turbine is routed to a specially designed boiler called a heat recovery steam generator. The hot exhaust flows past rows and rows of tubes filled with water, causing the water to boil and convert to steam. The steam is then routed to a steam turbine that is also connected to a generator, making even more electricity. The steam turbine is powered completely by leftover heat from the gas turbine's exhaust, which makes this combined cycle highly energy efficient, using less fuel for more power. Every step of the flex plant combined cycle process is focused on efficiency, minimal environmental impact, 
and lower CO2 emissions compared to traditional fossil fuel power plants. This process is very efficient. But how is its electricity actually created? The massive gas and steam turbine horsepower is used to spin the generator shafts which convert the rotational energy into electricity. The shafts inside the electrical generators consist of a series of electromagnetic copper coils which rotate within a casing lined with additional coils. The magnetic field of the rotating shaft coils excite the electrons and create a flow of electricity through the outer electromagnetic coils. This flow of electricity is directed to a transformer and distributed to the power grid. That's where a modern, intelligent, and reliable grid infrastructure is critical. Managing energy from various points of creation across distances to points of consumption and balancing the needs of the consumers with the generation resources available in real time. As the opportunities for renewables expand, the need to provide alternative, consistent, on-demand power is critical. Whether it's the lack of sunshine, quiet winds, or an unexpected peak of energy consumption, Siemens Flex Plant is the efficient solution for consistent electricity production. Advantages of Combined Cycle Power Plant First is the efficiency of the combined cycle plant is better or higher than the turbine cycle or steam cycle plant. The efficiency of combined cycle power plant will be of the order of about 45 to 50%. Usually in a conventional power plant, we can only generate 33% electricity. Well, in a combined cycle power plant, we can generate 68% electricity tungod kay duha pod yung source, which is the gas turbine and steam turbine. Then second is fewer moving parts and less vibration than a reciprocating engine. Then next, we have uh, low toxic emissions Tungod kay natural gas man yung gigamit compared sa uban nga nagamit o coal or other fuel resources. The next, it can run on a wide variety of fuels. Then lastly, it can manage high operating speeds. The disadvantages of combined cycle power plant. First, we have higher cost. Higher siya cost tungod kay mas efficient siya compared sa uban nga power plant then next we have longer start up usually a uh, combined cycle gas turbine can take over 30 minutes to start compared sa combustion engine power plant which can start and reach full load in less than 10 minutes then Next, it is less responsive to power demands and lastly, it has shrill whining noise. So, kasagaran sa mga combined cycle power plant is located on rural areas tungod kay banha yun if mag-operate na. Thermodynamic analysis of combined cycle power plant. Air bottoming cycle or ABC can replace the heat recovery teams, steam generator, and the steam turbine of the conventional combined, combined cycle plant. The excess energy of the topping gas turbine of existing combined cycle is sent to gas air heat exchange, which heats the air in the secondary gas turbine cycle. In 1980s, the ABC was proposed as an alternative for the conventional steam bottoming cycle. In spite of the cost of reducing hardware installations, it could achieve a thermal efficiency of 80%. The complete thermodynamic analysis of the system has been performed by using specially designed program enabling the variation of main independent variables. The result shows the gain in network Output as well as efficiency of combined cycle is 35% to 68%. The combined cycle has gained widespread 
acceptance in the land-based power generate, generating industry and is definitely a proven technology. But due to HRSG, the cost has been found to be too high. As a consequence of high inlet temperature, a high flue gas temperature results which allows for improved combined cycle or cogeneration efficiency. A combined system which has not been widely in investigated is the air bottoming cycle where air instead of steam is used in a bottoming, bottoming cycle to recover partially. The energy from the turbine exhaust and convert it into useful power. So the ABC together with tapping gas turbine cycle is another type of combined cycle. It offers efficiency close to that of combined gas turbine or steam turbine cycle and offers the potential of low weight as compared to combined gas turbine or steam turbine cycle. So morning schematic diagram sa combined cycle system. So sa upper part mo na ang bottoming cycle yan na ay LPC which means low pressure compressor then IPC is intermediate compressor press pressure compressor then HPC is high pressure compressor then HPT is high pressure turbine then LPT is low pressure turbine then so boss is the tapping cycle na naapoy compressor then dong sa turbine then another turbine so analysis of tapping cycle in tapping cycle the air is compressed in compressor from 1 to 2 where its temperature rises from T1 to T2. The compressed air then enter the combustion chamber where the combustion of fuel takes place. This results in rise of temperature of combustion product from T2 to T3. The high temperature gases enter the turbine where it expands to the final temperature T4. Therefore, Expression for turbine work in cycle in tapping cycle is given by work is equals to MC times T3 minus T4 where T4 is equals to T3 times 1 minus efficiency sa turbine times 1 minus R to the power of negative beta. An expression for compressor work in tapping cycle is work is equals to MC T2 minus T1, where T2 is equals to T1 times 1 plus R to the power of A minus 1 over efficiency sa compressor. Then, network of tapping cycle or work net is equals to work turbine minus work sa compressor. The expression for heat supplied in the combustion chamber is MC. T3 minus MC T2 all over efficiency sa combine. Then, therefore, the efficiency of the tapping cycle is work net over heat supplied. Then, mo na yung schematic diagram of tapping cycle of combined cycle power plant na ang magagigikan sa compressor then Mudong siya sa turbine. Then, because turbine na po. So, analysis of bottoming cycle. In air bottoming cycle, air at a temperature of T1 enter the low pressure compressor or LPC where it compresses and leave it at temperature higher than the T1. There is low pressure intercooler or LPI between low pressure compressor LPC and intermediate pressure compressor or IPC and high pressure intercooler 
HPI between intermediate pressure compressor or IPC and high pressure compressor compressor or HPC. The temperature of air after leaving high pressure intercooler is same as the temperature of air at the entry of low pressure compressor and after compression in high pressure compressor its temperature rises to T2. This high temperature air enter the re recuperator where it absorbs heat from the exhaust gas of tapping cycle and in this way the temperature of air raises to T3. The high pressure and high temperature air after leaving the recuperator enters the turbine where it expands to the final temperature of T4. Therefore, the expression for temperature of air leaving the high pressure intercooler and bottoming cycle is given by T2 is equals to T1 times 1 plus R to the power of R over N plus 1, then minus 1, then over efficiency sa compressor. Then the expression for in temperature of of air leaving the turbine in bottoming cycle is given by T4 is equals to T3 times 1 minus efficiency sa turbine times 1 minus R to the power of negative A. The expression of effective effectiveness for the heat exchanger is T3 minus T2 all over T4 minus T2. Then, therefore, the expression for turbine inlet temperature of air in bottoming cycle is given by T3 minus heat exchanger times T4 minus T2 plus T2. And the expression for turbine work in bottoming cycle is given by work is equal to MC times T3 minus T4. Expression for compressor work in bottoming cycle is given by work uh, compressor is equals to MC times T2 minus T1. So network of bottoming cycle or work net is equals to work sa turbine minus work sa compressor. Then the network of combined cycle is the network of tapping cycle plus network of bottoming cycle. Then and the expression for net efficiency of the combined plant is work net over Q. So, mo yung schematic diagram of bottoming cycle. So, naas na ay cooling water sa tunga sa low pressure compressor o sa intermediate pressure compressor. Then, naapot sa tunga sa, sa intermediate o sa high. Welcome to the Combined Cycle Overview Presentation. A combined cycle power plant combines a simple cycle gas turbine configuration with a steam turbine to provide additional power output from the plant while increasing the efficiency of the plant. To merge these technologies, a heat recovery steam generator, or HERSIG, is utilized on the exhaust of the gas turbine to recover the useful energy in the hot exhaust path in order to generate steam for operating the steam turbine. The gas turbine itself contains three primary sections, the compressor section, the combustor section, and the turbine section. Inlet air is drawn into and through the compressor section, where it is compressed and delivered to the combustors. In the combustors, the air is mixed with a fuel source, generally natural gas or fuel oil, and then ignited. The hot exhaust gas from the combustors is then directed to the turbine section, where much of the energy is converted to rotate the turbine and all attached equipment 
including the gas turbine generator, where the rotational mechanical energy is converted to electricity. The exhaust of the gas turbine section still contains a significant amount of energy. Much of this energy is used to generate steam in the HERSIG, located in the exhaust path of the gas turbine. Various HERSIG designs are utilized by the power industry. A typical three pressure HERSIG, low pressure, intermediate pressure, and high pressure, is shown here for illustrative purposes. Each pressure level of a HERSIG produces steam at specific temperatures and pressures determined by the design and application it is used in. Typically, each pressure level will preheat incoming water in preheaters, also called economizers. Water then flows to a pressure drum, where it is driven down a pipe and then back up through a riser or boiler section in the HERSIG, where approximately 10% of the water is converted to steam. The steam then exits the pressure drum and is delivered to superheaters and then finally exits the HERSIG, so its energy can be utilized by the steam turbine, which drives the steam turbine generator to produce electricity. A typical HERSIG also includes additional components for emission controls, such as a Selective Catalyst Reduction System, or SCR, and may contain duct burners, which burn additional fuel to provide more heat to maximize steam production, utilizing excess unburned oxygen still present in the gas turbine exhaust stream. The steam produced by the HERSIG is sent to a steam turbine. A typical steam turbine will utilize high-pressure steam in a high-pressure section of the turbine. The exhaust from that section of the turbine still contains a significant amount of useful energy. That exhaust steam, called cold reheat steam, joins the intermediate pressure steam produced in the HERSIG. The combined steam flow is further heated in the HERSIG in sections called reheaters, and then exits the HERSIG as hot reheat steam. This hot reheat steam is used to drive the intermediate pressure section of the steam turbine. Exhaust from the intermediate pressure section of the steam turbine is combined with the steam produced in the low pressure section of the HERSIG and then drives the low pressure section of the steam turbine. The exhaust of the low pressure turbine is condensed and stored in the condenser hot well. This condensed steam is then reused in the plant as condensate and feed water to continue the steam cycle. Each turbine and associated generator has necessary support systems to facilitate their operation. Some of these include lube oil systems to provide cooling and lubrication, control oil systems to provide hydraulic operation of control equipment, a turning gear, and other necessary systems depending on the particular design utilized. In conclusion, a combined cycle plant utilizes a gas turbine to produce electricity in the gas turbine generator. The exhaust is then used to generate steam in the heat recovery steam generator. That steam is then converted to electricity in the steam turbine and steam turbine generator. Numerous support systems are necessary to support the operation of the plant and major plant equipment such as the turbines and generators. Utilizing a combined cycle plant increases both the amount of electricity generated by the plant as well as plant efficiency. There are numerous variations available in the design and manufacture of combined cycle facilities, and this overview shows only one possible configuration.